flight boss. Now, we're getting into the um, Aries and Sagittarius relationship. Now, the Aries and the Sagittarius relationship, now, they both going to understand each other to a certain extent because they both fire. So, they're, so naturally, they're both into the same things. You know what I'm saying? But the, the way that they're into the same things is a little different. Now, right here, by it both being fires, we're going to have to break down the modalities. Now, Sagittarius is immutable. Aries is a cardinal. So right here should give you a basic understanding of the, the quite differences that might go on into the relationship. Just like Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, um, Aries is ruled by Mars. So the way this may play out is when Aries may show a little... Uh, too aggressiveness when they may show like when they may start to show their emotions too hot headedness too aggressive see this is where sagittarius may cool cool the aries down with jokes or with a with a certain basic understanding of you're not supposed to feel basically sagittarius will be trying to express to aries how you should feel other than you jumping out the box feeling the way you feel Basically, the like the Jupiter aspect is always going to feel like it has to show the Mars some sort of wisdom, have to show the Mars some type of knowledge and have have the Mars not jump before jump before looking. You know, what I'm saying kind of attitude to things, you know, what I'm saying like that, like and that's the way it goes. Like uh, Sagittarius is the, the least emotional fire sign. Um, Leo is the most emotional fire sign. Aries, Aries is a, a temperament is pretty up there, but not as far as Leo's. And Sagittarius is the least, you know what I'm saying? And they're all still the fillers, like water and fire is the fillers. But see, Sagittarius has a more shallow approach to the way they feel. They feel a lot of things, but they connect it to a higher, they can they connect their feelings to a higher knowledge. And then the higher for something to go high, it has to go through the air. So the way it plays out through a Sagittarius is they take their emotions and put it in an air temperament. So they kind of react to things sort of like an air sign, but with passion behind it. See, air sign may think, but they may think intellectual wise, abstract wise. You know what I'm saying? Where Sagittarius is the filler, but they like to think. So when they when they take their feelings and throw it into the air where Jupiter is originally at, it goes through the air. So their feelings kind of goes up in air a lot. So they they like to handle their own feelings, but they like to give it to a higher power to handle them. So they're emotional also, just not as not as down on surface level, down to earth, grounded like the Aries and the Leo. So when this play out in a relationship. Like this, this could be a bad thing. The Aries could be feeling like the Sagittarius is with them for all the way on the road, all the way until the Sagittarius starts showing the Aries that, hold on, you're not my only friend or you're not my only girlfriend or you're not my only boyfriend or you're not my only uh, person I get along with. I have a lot of others. And see, Sagittarius don't like to be caged in. See, and where Aries may want to take control where Aries may want to be the one who plan where they're going to go and stuff like that. That's when the Sagittarius is going to switch and be like, well, you can go there. I'm going to go here. And then the Aries is going to feel like the Sagittarius is kind of being phony because the Aries is going to take the consideration that, OK, we, we be into the same thing. So why all of a sudden? You don't want to uh, you don't want to go here with me. Like why you why you don't want to add your plans with with my plans? And Aries have to understand that everyone don't want to go with your plans. Sometimes you have to compromise. But Aries will take this as like the Aries will take it as like why you're not trying to incorporate yourself with me. And see what Aries feel to realize is Sagittarius is also a fire sign. So they could care less with compromise. They can care less with compromising on, okay, we're gonna do what you do and then let's do what I do. They they're gonna be more on a level of well, okay, well, shit, you go do that, and I'm gonna go do this, and the and what makes what makes the Aries even more upset is because the way the Sagittarius go about it, they go about it in a way that they think the Aries should understand this already, and what makes it worse is the Aries does understand this, but by Sagittarius being a fire sign and them having a certain level of connectivity, it makes the Aries feel like well. 
this this one person is an exception and said and this is where Sagittarius is like no there are no exceptions um i'm just like you in a lot of ways you know what i'm saying it's just i want to do this right now you can go do that and then when we link back up to do something that we both like there shouldn't be no hard feelings and that's where aries may put in hard feelings and that's back that's back to the point of uh mars and jupiter aspects because mars is going to put that intensity in that intense emotional feeling in to make you feel like okay there is hard feelings because now we're going to play this 10th attack game i'm not going to want to do what you want to do um, and that's gonna piss the that's gonna piss the Aries off even, even more because the Sagittarius doesn't care. In fact, the Sagittarius wants the relationship to be like this. They don't want the Aries to uh, to want to do what they want to do all the time. And if if a tit for tat situation come up where the where the Aries want to be petty and be like, okay, since the Sagittarius ain't go where the Aries wanted to go last time, then I'm not gonna. I'm not going to accompany the Sag the Aries not going to accompany the Sagittarius this time. The Sagittarius Sagittarius actually wants this. And then the Aries is think that the Aries going to think that they're doing this to kind of throw some emotional weight onto the Sagittarius. They're going to think that they're hurting the Sagittarius in some type of way when they're not. And that's going to make the Aries even more so Aries can be the volatile in this situation if Aries is not is not sure how to content their their diplomat style or how to content their compromise style you know what i'm saying when aries is always me 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 and then they don't quite want to understand why this time is not you 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 they they throw a hissy fit and sagittarius is they go why Aries sign doesn't understand it but they can see an opportunity and how to calm the, the the aries down or whatever like that the sagittarius going going to understand it and then and then throw and then throw around oh how they how the Aries shouldn't be feeling like this. And then the Aries is gonna gonna listen to this and be like, yeah, you right inside the head. But then that's gonna make the Aries even more mad because now they have somebody just like them telling them about themselves. And the Aries can't find can't find a way to be to say that they're wrong. They can't find the Aries, it makes it's hard for Aries to say to themselves that they're wrong. You know what I'm saying? So that could be the only problem. That could be the only problem, but other than that, the good thing is they both under, uh, Aries and Sagittarius understand e each other. Where the uh, Sagittarius may be into a certain religion, the Aries is going to want to go through with that certain religion. Where where Sagittarius may want to actually do something and have a lot of ideas on something, the Aries may take that and actually do it. You know what I'm saying? And um. And vice versa, what what Aries is doing and have a lack of idea of how to do it, the Sagittarius can do it and do it better. You know what I'm saying? And show the Aries as an example. The Aries need examples here. They need someone to set an example. So this is a good, this is a good. I don't know who's gonna lead the the situation type of match right here. Like you know what I'm saying? Where 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 Sagittarius may be a little wiser. The Aries may uh may be a little bit more um assertive and where aries may be a little bit more assertive the sagittarius may be a little bit more wiser so it's just like um uh, aries i uh, have an insight knowing what they want to do and a sagittarius have more of an insight of knowing how to do what they want to do so an Aries is just going to go for it, whether they know how to do it or not. A Sagittarius is going to know how to do a lot of different things, but not necessarily go for one of them. You know what I'm saying? So this is where they both can kind of help each other at. You know what I'm saying? Where the Sagittarius is going to be motivated by, by a lot of Capricorn and Scorpio ways. The Aries is motivated by a lot of uh, Pisces and Taurus ways. So where, where Taurus may come in, where uh, Aries may like to take pride on possessions the aries will take the the tourist ways of pos possessions and brag about it so aries come across more braggadocious then they take the pisces ways and the way they they go with the flow about about it so they think that what everybody is into let me go get that to brag about brag about so that way I'll be bragging upon something that everybody is into where the sagittarius is more blended in with the scorpio and the cap where how they go about their aggressions and, sh and shit like that. So the Sagittarius look at it in a more way of a philosophical way. They look at it like, okay, let me, let me. Uh, it's not all about possessions, which I can gain possessions, but let me, let me, let me learn a building process 
on how to gain a uh, possession as far as the Capricorn goes where it's in between. And then on the Scorpio side, it's going in deep, deep into it, going in deep into whatever they're in. So the knowledge or whatever <coughs> philosophical program or whatever religious teachings they're in, they go deep into it or astrology, whatever they go deep into it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the, 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 how you can kind of nitpick out of the two the two fire signs, you know what I'm saying? What signs they're surrounded in, what, what planets rule them, uh, and, and what modalities they're in, you know what I'm saying? So a lot a lot of times, um, the Aries is going to look at the Sagittarius kind of fake and phony because the Aries is going to look at the Sagittarius like, okay, we're on the same page with all this, but you but you're showing me that you're on the same page with a lot of different other people, and the Sagittarius is going to look at the Aries like, look, sometimes you have to get out of your own feelings. And understand that there is a world that's around us and we need to incorporate a lot of these things that's around us in order for us to have a good idea on what we're trying to do naturally anyway. You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of uh, the kind of relationship of Aries and the Sagittarius to kind of have. And it, it goes deeper in, but I'm pushing them the minutes. So I'm going I'm to uh, do another video. Um, and they're going to have a kind of different context around them. Like it might be based on the planetaries and, uh, and shit like that. But. That's that's the basic nature of this relationship, Aries and Sagittarius. You know, for sure, flights, air, grams, O's, flight most bitches. <laughs>